In this video, I'm gonna go over this nuclear power plant layout using this RBMKP reactor which is 29 by 15 in size and is powered using 78 uranium-235 fuel rods. It produces over 300 mega HEs per second when the fuel depletion levels are low. So yeah, this is a 4x4 chunk design and without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now before building the reactor, first let's take a look at chunk loading. So I have this reactor running for over like four and a half hours now and it hasn't exploded. The fuel rods are depleted like over 75%. So yeah, as you can see this design itself, yeah, it won't really explode. But it will explode if you have it in an unloaded chunk because it is a hot running reactor. So make sure that wherever you are making this reactor, those chunks are always loaded. So yeah, that was it for chunk loading. Now let's take a look at the layout of the nuclear power plant that I have made. So this is a 4x4 chunk area and I have marked out all of the spaces for the different components that this reactor is going to have. So we have the space for the nuclear reactor, the turbines, cooling towers, the substation and even the spent fuel pool drum. So yeah, that's it for the layout. Now let's take a look at the components. So for this one, you will require moderated fuel rods, control rods, steam channels, reflectors, and structural columns. And most importantly, world edit, because this entire build can be stacked very easily. Now for the fuel, we have uranium-235, and you will require 78 of them. So the reactor base is going to be 29 by 15. And we raise this entire base by three more blocks for piping work. Now coming to a diagonal side right here we leave one block and then we place down a steam channel so this is the standard 5x5 design which i am showing you right here which is going to serve as a single module so we have four steam channels four reflectors and a single fuel rod making this 5x5 right here so you guys already know this design but we are going to stack this so getting rid of all of the outer components for now we will only leave four blocks, which are these two control rods, one steam channel and one fuel rod. So the fuel rod is going to have uranium-235 in it. And as for the steam channel, we are going to set it to ultra density. With that done, make sure to place covers on top of the fuel rod and the steam channel. And now we can stack it along the width. So select it across the diagonals like this and then stack this design by five more times. So that will give you total six fuel rods in a single line. And what's good is all of the steam channels do retain their settings. Now place down one final steam channel to close this loop off, set it to ultra dense steam, place some covers along with the control rod. And now in order to close off the width side, we are going to place a reflector along with a structural column. And we are going to repeat the same process on this side as well. So a reflector goes next to the control rod and then a structural column and that's it so this is like one module done kind of and now we stack this entire design 12 more times so that will be a 13 by 6 in terms of the fuel rods so stack by 12 and there we have a 13 by 6 layout or array of fuel rods like this so it is kind of already closed on the length side now Remaining two blocks here, we are going to place the steam channels and in the middle where there are the control rods right here. And finally, we can start placing structural columns and the neutron reflectors. So neutron reflectors go directly in front of the control rods and in the gaps, you can place down the structural columns and then close it all off using the RBMK covers. And finally, on the side where we started, there is just one layer remaining which is going to be against the structural columns and reflectors so place them so there will be two structural columns like this at the end and then reflectors like this so once that's done the entire reactor is actually done completed so yeah that's it for the reactor itself now for linking the console as you can see the length of the reactor is aligned along the east and west so facing north place down two rbmk consoles and then come to the center of a single side so leaving three steam channels on the fourth one in the middle shift right click 
and then let's do the same on the other side so here's the fourth one and shift right click so basically this will divide the entire reactor into two parts with one overlapping column so yeah that's it now if you would have done this like facing the south direction then the reactor would have been altered kind of so yeah now for piping work actually let's get rid of all of the temporary blocks that we placed and that will leave a three block height down here to work with so place down pipes like this and uh, this time we are going to stack them by 26 so as soon as you stack all of the pipes along the length they should reach the last steam channel like this and for the uh, for the steam connector basically we are going to stack it by 13 times so for the second selection place down any temporary block make it the second selection and then remove the temporary block and then stack it by 13 times and that will link all of the steam connectors in proper place like this finally connect all of the pipes in the middle and then the top ones is water the bottom one is the ultra dense steam and that's all of the connections done properly so next thing we are going to place down turbines and cooling towers also i have placed some lights down there because that area is going to be closed so for this design you are going to need a total of eight big cooling towers to make a closed loop so here are eight cooling towers and along them running parallel i have the underground piping for low pressure steam and water then we place down four turbines connected to each other for each type of steam and we start connecting the last turbine which is going to process normal steam its output is going to be low pressure steam so low pressure steam pipes are connected to all of the cooling towers like this so that's the connection done for low pressure steam and next up we also need to connect the water output so raise this one by two blocks if you are doing it like this so that you have an area where you can walk around so in a similar manner connect all of the cooling towers with the water ducts which are running parallel to the low pressure steam one and that's it for all of the connections from the cooling towers we can walk around easily and now let's connect the ultra dense steam from the reactor going into the very first turbine and for that i'm going to use the paintable coated fluid pipes and now you can make the containment using any block you want any strong block you want i am going to use lucrid tiles you can also use concrete as its color is very similar to how the rbmk reactor itself looks now for water once again using the paintable coated fluid ducts i'm going to connect it and set it to lucrid and in all of these places having these fluid gauges is yeah like really helpful and finally for the top side i'm going to use the hazard stripes of concrete and that's the entire containment done for the rbmk reactor though you don't really need it because rbmk reactors don't explode <laughs> now let's fill this entire reactor up with water so using an infinite tank for that and once it's done and all of the pipings are complete then your closed loop is actually done you don't really need any buffer tank the last part is actually connecting the power output of all of the turbines so for this i am going to use like a lot of substations you don't really need this but uh, yeah i'm going to use like five rows of substations divided into two parts using capacitors and then they will be connected in the end to give us our final power output so to test this reactor pull out all of the control rods by 100 percent so as you can see it, they will come out in two parts like this and finally place down any activator rod like radium 226 beryllium and that will start the reactor the main thing is that the water levels are holding which is pretty good that means we have done our connections properly and power levels will slowly rise up to 314 or 313 mega per second now this reactor will use a lot of water as you can see here so yeah I hope you guys like this video if you did do like it and subscribe to the channel
Peace out.